Hey guys, it's me. Today I want to do a recap of 2017. I was planning on filming this video earlier last week, but it was still 2017. But I was busy because I'm always busy, so I'm still gonna do it now. And even though like 12 other people that I know in my life have made a video like this, I think that this is the first year that I'm making a big recap video, only because this was one of the best years of my life, but also because a lot of bad things happened, but I'm trying to focus more on the positives and learn from the bad things that have happened. So I kind of want to go through it with you because you've been through it with me. I put my whole life on YouTube, literally everything. I, I travel, I go to all these places, I bring you with me. Uh, even if I'm not filming it, I'll film a video there or I'll take pictures and stuff like that. So I thought that we could relive it together and we could talk a little bit about like what's to come for 2018 for Chasey Boo. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna start off with the good, we're gonna talk about the bad, and we're gonna recap and go back to the good so that it's like we're sandwiching the bad with the good so we focus more on the good. So a million things happened in 2017 and literally it is so hard for me to start and I don't even know where to start. So I'm gonna kind of try to go chronologically, I guess. So I wanna start with traveling, okay? I love to travel so much and I'm so glad that 2017 was like the year of travel because I have a list on my paper here of the places that I traveled to and I just realized when I was recording this video before and then I deleted the whole thing that I actually traveled to more places than I wrote and I travel because I either go on vacation um, or I go see some friends or I do collabs or I go and do talks in schools and stuff like that. So I started off the year at being in Slovakia. I was in Slovakia with Zuzia and their family for Christmas and New Year's. So we were in Slovakia and then we went to, we drove to Poland. And then we flew back to New York and then we took a bus back to Montreal. So that was the first 10 days of January was being in four different places. That's like four different countries, literally. It was really fun, I like to travel. But then I got home and I got like really depressed and because I had to move right away, which I'm gonna count as travel. <laughs> I had to move two floors up, but it like killed me, okay? Like I was so depressed, I broke down, I made videos about being like, it, it just affected me in such a bad way to be, to have to move like that, like literally, like that, and it, it, it. Everyone always says like moving is so stressful. I'm like, ah, it's fine. I'm living. I'm living like same building, just moving up two floors. It shook me. It, sh it shook me out of my shell. Is that even, I don't even, whatever. Anyways, so in January, it was also my birthday and I had a birthday video. Somebody made me a birthday video and that was like really sweet. I put it on my channel. So traveling, let's go back to traveling. I ended up in Allentown, Pennsylvania and I did a talk there and it's about maybe like two hours or something away from um, Philly or maybe an hour, I don't know. And I did a talk there and that was actually one of my favorite talks, okay, because I um, was able to kind of talk unscripted. I usually script my talks, my presentations that I do in university and community organizations. Um, and at this organization, I actually decided, you know what, I'm just gonna make an outline of things and points that I need to talk about and I'm just gonna talk. That was one of the fa my favorite talks that I've ever done. It was really fun. And then I got to meet so many people after the talk, and that is one of my favorite things. Yes, I like doing a presentation, I like to talk, and like be the attention of the room, and like have everyone like learn things from what I'm saying, but honestly, my favorite part of all these talks is that I get to meet you at the end, and I love doing that because I get to hug you, and I get to understand your story, because you will only, you know about me. You know everything about me, I know nothing about you, so I get to learn about you for that, like that split like minute to five minutes that we spend together until someone else comes along. So, that's fun. So that was my January, all right? And now we're gonna go into February. You know how I said I was gonna focus on travel? I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. I kind of realized that it is kind of good to go chronologically because in February is when Steph came here. So she traveled here, so that's kind of travel. Steph Sanyadi, she came over to Montreal, spent some time with some friends, and then she came over. We met for the first time and we filmed like two collab channels and she was on the podcast with me and Aaron. It was amazing, okay? She's hilarious. We had such good chemistry on camera and in person and then we clicked like that. It was so great. I love meeting people like that where we just kind of click and everything works. And the videos that we made together were hilarious and they were very informative and we talked about sex and sexuality and it was really great. But did you know that February is when all of the censored stuff started with me? It happened with a lot of people, but that's mostly what happened with me. My videos started to get demonetized, okay? This is when people started to flag my videos, my review videos for prosthetics, for transgender men to alleviate dysphoria, nothing sex related, literally to alleviate dysphoria. Prosthetics, packers, STPs, all of those got flagged, all of those got demonetized. My revenue, my ad revenue from YouTube, which of course I'm gonna talk about what I'm gonna pretend like I don't make money on YouTube. I don't make that much money, trust me, because these ads, they really they don't pay much, but 
I make enough to like to pay my cell phone bill, you know? <laughs> like, um, it went like up here, and then in February and March, boom! Because all of my popular videos, which are almost all reviews, all got demonetized. And so I made a video about it, and it was all like, oh, you're complaining for nothing. And it was ridiculous, okay? It was just, it was ridiculous. But then March is when restricted mode happened, if we all remember that, because everyone was affected. Everyone at LGBT was affected. You would go on my channel, and there was one video. One! I have like 500, 600 videos on my channel. Are you kidding me? One video, and I think it was my like every day for three year picture. Like I have seven of those videos. Why was that the only one that whatever so that was the only video that was on my channel You would go on Steph's channel none of her videos about her fa facial feminization surgery recovery None was on there any type of information about trans people or gay or sexual anything was completely removed off of all of our channels and restricted mode basically was that you would go onto um, YouTube at like a library or school or your parents would put restricted mode on and you can't access these videos, these life-saving videos for a lot of people. I'm not saying my videos are life-saving, I'm saying all of the LGBT people who are restricted and put under restricted mode are life -saving. These are life-saving videos for people. They watch these videos, people who would live in places that don't have any queer people around them and it just, it makes them feel better. That's how I felt when I finally found the queer people online. So that was a shit show and like YouTube started to apologize. Can you believe that was in March? Yo, 2017 was the fastest year of my life. Yes, I'm getting older. Yes, that's what happens, but Man, March is also the month where I started to really crack down on my thesis. I feel like I'm gonna cry right now because I have some exciting news. <laughs> I, um, I realized it just kind of hit me in the face like, you need to finish, you need to finish. So I cracked down and I really, 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 really started to um, work on my thesis and I, I did it. I worked it and I'm done. I'm done my thesis. I'm literally just in the revision mode and next week I hand in my final copy and then I do my defense. I do my defense, my thesis, I'm done, guys. I've been complaining about my thesis for four years and I'm done. 2017, I was hoping was gonna be the year where everything is finished and it's not. You know what? That's the bad, I guess, I'm kidding. Let's walk away from that. Let's walk away. We can't change the past. I can't change starting my thesis in January instead of March, okay? I can't do that. But what I can change and what I can do is make sure that this thesis is done and I finish next month for good and I graduate in June. I'm just <sighs> blessed. Chase Ross in March for cracking out on that thesis. I'm very proud of myself and it's very hard for me to say that I'm proud of myself for a lot of things. I don't know why, whatever, but I'm really proud of myself. So April is the month I started hormone blockers, but who cares about that, let's move on. I also started medical marijuana. Why? I had anxiety, okay? January, February, March, April, insane anxiety because of the move, because of so many other things in my life. I just, I don't know what happened, but I just had anxiety and I tried everything. And I wanna talk about this right now because it's like, who cares, Chase, you tried it and it didn't work. I tried four different medications before I went to medical marijuana, which did not work. Stop asking me about it, okay? None of these medications worked. Nothing worked. It's hard to talk about this, okay, because I try to be so body positive and it's really hard, but I gained like 10 to 15 pounds. And I know that that's not a lot of weight and I know that you're gonna say, Chase, you look fine, you don't look like you gained weight. Please, I can literally show you the numbers, okay? I did gain weight and it sucks. And for me personally, it sucks that I gained weight because I feel like I worked so hard to have a body that I was happy with because I was running. And it's not because I was skinny or because I didn't weigh a certain amount. I don't care about that. I was running. And that was the thing that I loved the most in the world is to run and to eat healthy. And I was put on all these different medications and it rose my appetite and I started eating horrible things and I can't run. I injured my knee in 2016 at the end of the year and I tried to run a little bit at the beginning of the year in 2017 but my knee was hurt and now I just, I, my knee hurts, I'm standing, I'm not even joking, I'm standing here and I feel my knee hurting. And sometimes it's associated with the cold, sometimes it's because I had to run somewhere really quickly to the metro or something and it just, that's one of the bad things, okay? That's one of the really bad things that happen. Depression, anxiety, medication, weight gain for me, and not being able to run. And I stopped running around, I think it was like June or uh, May, it was May. And I stopped running around May because my knee, I just, I couldn't take it anymore and it hurt so much. And I really didn't want to talk about this in the video, but I have to, you know? This is a part of my year that I need to kind of talk about, it's the bad. I knew I was gonna talk about good, bad, good, okay? It's hard to do this. There's so many things happen this year. I'm like, I'm all messed up right now. Sorry. So I stopped running in May and that really sucks, but let's go with the positive because you know, 
Stop with the negative, positives. I started my giveaways in May. I partnered up with GC2B, and originally we were gonna get five binders every month, but then I saw how many people applied to my giveaway, and I was like, no, no, I mean, please give me more binders to give away. I will pay for them, please. So we now give away 30 binders together, and that's really great, and I've been doing that every month since, and I'm still doing that right now. In June, Beauty had her surgery on her mouth. I started my tattoo cover-up of America, Bless. I love my tattoo, it is now officially finished. I finished it like last week. So I wanna talk about the best year of the month, okay? I haven't really been talking about traveling, but here it is. July was amazing. I started off July in Vancouver, okay? I spent Canada Day in Vancouver. I spent it with my friend Kai, we went uh, we were supposed to go on this huge backpacking trip, but my knee got injured again. And so I had to not do that and we had to go car camping, which was sucked, but it was really fun. It sucked because it wasn't like a huge, like life-changing backpacking trip that I was hoping to have for going to Vancouver and like being in a place that I love that I want to move to. But you know, it's okay, the car camping, um, it was absolutely amazing because I was still outside, I guess. Um, so that was really fun. So I was in Vancouver. I had a meetup on the beach and that was amazing I got to meet so many amazing people and that was just so much fun after Vancouver I ended up in Toronto where I was staying at Steph's house and we filmed a bunch of collabs and We had a meetup and that meetup was amazing like 200 people came We had a meetup at this like the riddle room, which is like a games cafe. Oh my god It was so much fun while I was in Toronto It's when I reached mm, mm. Mm -mm -mm. 100,000 subscribers! The best day of my life, honestly. Like, I am thinking about, blessed that it was recorded, blessed that I was able to record the moment that I hit 100,000 subscribers, okay? Deep in my heart, I can't even express to you my life has been living up to this moment, and it is there, and it what happened in July, and it's, I think about it and it's like, I remember Chasey Poo, little Chase Poo, I'll never get a thousand subscribers. And my goal is never to get a million subscribers or a hundred thousand subscribers just to help people. But it's nice to have a number associated with that, honestly. What? I'm gonna say it, I'm not gonna lie. That number makes me feel good, okay? It makes me feel great. It makes me feel like I help a lot of people. Oh, I forgot to mention also when I was in Vancouver, I also did a collab with Elena Fender and that was really awesome. We filmed like four videos. It was fantastic. Oh my god, I forgot something huge that happened this year that I can't not talk about. I was at the hospital because I have stomach issues, okay? I had colitis and that was really horrible and it was bad and my stomach hurt and it messed up my entire digestive system and now I have IBS and I can't eat anything. So I'm trying to do this new diet, this low FODMAP diet and it's horrible. I'm trying, I'm gonna try, okay? But I can't eat anything and it's really hard but I really wanted to talk about that right now because being at the hospital was really traumatic and it was horrible and my stomach hurts so much and Everything that I've eaten since the end of July has hurt me. So I have had constant stomach pain for four months now. So I, I just wanted to like add that in while I'm editing this video. I'm like, there's something missing about this year. Hello! July is also when I had my huge giveaway. How can we not talk about this? My giveaway. You know the one where I give a thousand items? About 15,000 US worth? Good times. That was really fun. I really, really enjoyed doing this huge giveaway and putting all these companies together. I had Freedom, Real Magic, I had Transthetics, I had Early to Bed, I had New York Toy Collective, I had Rodeo, I had Joey, I had, looking at my wall to see if there's any other one, Jimmy, STP, I had the Peacock. I had so many companies involved in this giveaway and it was just so amazing. And just to say it, it was the biggest giveaway for the trans mass community. Just saying, I'm just gonna put that one in there. I'm very proud of that. It took me two months to plan that. And you know what else took me two months to plan? August. You know what happened in August? A little series I like to call the Trans 101 series where I posted a video every single day of August. I worked my ass off on that and I'm so glad that it actually worked out. So yes, my friends, every day in August I posted a Trans 101 video, a new one. What is transgender, transgender kids, prosthetics for youth, prosthetics for adults, binders, packers, surgery, phalloplasty, metodioplasty, top surgery, double incision, keyhole, periarial, all of these things I posted every single day. They were all captioned, they were all thumbnailed and description. And I think back at myself and I'm like, I was like still not 100% Chase. I was still not 100% me. I still felt a little messed up. I still felt depressed and anxiety. But when I 
put my anxiety and depression into helping other people. I don't think about myself, not very healthy, but whatever. Um, <laughs> I help other people and that makes me forget about me. It makes me help other people and that's all I ever want to do. My whole life, all I want to do is help people. That's my life's work, that's what I want to do. I was put on this earth to help people, okay? And the fact that I'm able to do that and put my problems aside to help other people, for me, is a good thing. In the long run, not so much, because I need to deal with my own problems, but now I am working on that, so that's the good. I am finally working on that, so I'm feeling a little bit better. A little bit better. That's good. August was awesome. I am so glad that I was able to do that Trans 101. And yes, I know everyone's wondering, are you gonna do Trans 201 or Trans 102? I will be continuing the Trans 101 series. I don't know what to call it, so if you have any ideas, that would be fantastic, actually, because some topics are not trans 101, but some topics are also not trans 201. They're still put in trans 101. So it's really confusing and I don't really know what to do. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. So some other awesome things happened in August. You know, I traveled a little bit. I went to Albany, had a meet up there. That was really fun. I went to Rochester and had a meet up there. And that was really fun too. And you're probably wondering, Chase, why were you in Rochester, New York? Why would you go there? Um, do you know a little thing called FTM Magazine? I was the cover model for August. Do you know, this is very glary, I'm sorry. This is the coolest thing ever. I am on the cover of a magazine. <laughs> it's FTM Magazine. And I have wanted to be on this cover for a long time and they finally messaged me and they were like, Chase, do you want to be on the cover of FTM Magazine? I was like, <laughs> excuse me, and I'm in love to do that thing here. <laughs> Literally, okay? So, I'm on the cover of FTM Magazine. I'm pretty sure you could still actually buy this magazine online on the FTM Magazine website. So, take a look at that. But it's just about like my, uh, my reviews and the things that I do and it has like picture of my cat wall and stuff like that. So, I'm really proud of this and I'm really happy that I was part of like, I don't know. I'm gonna sound cocky, but fuck, I'm on a cover of a fucking magazine, okay? Like, how cool is What the fuck? Man, I mean, Pooh on a cover, what the fuck? Yes, I work hard, I never thought this would happen, though. Like, what the fuck? So let's go on to more traveling. After that, I went to Burlington, Vermont for a talk I did with my friend Val. That was amazing, honestly. It was so much fun because we talked about trans representation in the media and it was so great to do a different type of talk. It was casual. We were sitting down having a conversation and that was one of my favorite talks as well because I love that. So if you would like us to come to your school or organization to have a conversation about trans representation in the media, my business email is in the description because it was really fun and we would love to do a talk like that again together because it, it was awesome. So after Burlington, we drove to the conference and you're thinking, oh my God, Chase, the conference, you love the conference. It was probably amazing. It wasn't. I mean, it was, okay, don't get me wrong. Meeting everyone was amazing. I met like, what, 200, 300 people? It was fantastic and it was nonstop though, okay? And that's the part that I'm like, oh, I had a lot, there was a lot of sensory overload for me. I have noise canceling headphones for this year and I have a weighted blanket so when I need a moment, I'm gonna slide under the table and I'm just gonna lie there for like 20 minutes and I'll be back and I'll be a human again because I feel like it's too much for me. But I had amazing time meeting everybody. I took so many pictures, the videos. I just had a really good time, but I also was really stressed out and I cried every single day. Okay, let's, let, let's end this, okay? This is getting really long, okay? October, what happened in October? Well, I went on a cruise. So, I, I was in Montreal, I flew to Florida, so there, Florida, and then from Florida, I went to a cruise, and on a cruise, I went to Haiti, Jamaica, and Mexico. Wow, the cruise was amazing. It was beautiful, it was the first time on a cruise, and all the first time in all these different countries, and it was really cool. Except for a little detail. And you're thinking, oh Chase, what could have went wrong? Oh, did you lose something? Someone steal your thing? Oh no, I got into a car accident and almost died in Jamaica. That's what happened. Yeah, no big deal. That really kind of messed me up for the last two months, honestly, to be honest. Like, I'm not even joking right now. It was really bad. Um, I got into a car accident in Jamaica and I try so hard not to think about it. I have completely repressed it and not talked about it at all since my I almost died video, not clickbait. Um, because if I start to think about it, I think about the people who are in the car and I think about what I saw and I would like to not think about that. So I am gonna be working on getting therapy, but one good thing that came out of this is I was finally officially, kind of not officially diagnosed with PTSD. So that's good because I've had this since I got into a car accident when I was 14, 13, I was 13. Um, so it's good that I guess it was like, now it's recognized, you know, only 12 years later. Um, just because this accident kind of brought back all of these other things that had happened before, even though I was going through all those things through the last 12 years, so. 
that part wasn't really great, but the cruise was really cool. Okay, I would really like to go on a cruise again. I would just like to not get into another accident. I don't think I'll ever be able to trust the driver again, so I always have to drive now. So, yeah. This is what happened. I'm having a flashback right now. This is not good. Okay, so the beginning of November, I was supposed to do the New York Marathon, but I couldn't, so more bad stuff because my knee is still messed up and I couldn't train at all. So that really sucks, and I already paid for my registration and everything, so I didn't do it. <laughs> so that really sucks. But let's sandwich this with the good. I was invited to VidCon in November, and that is probably one of the best days of my life was getting that email. Okay, I know that a lot of bad things happened this year, but one, reaching 100,000 subscribers, two, getting the email from VidCon, and three, receiving my play button, all in the same span of four months, and especially the play button and the um, getting the email from VidCon was like in the same two weeks. My life changed like crazy in 2017, and my career, YouTube, personal career life, exploded and everything that I that I've worked for I feel like is now I, I see it and it's on this plaque and I don't know how to explain that in a different I this is very bright but I, I, I this is still in the box I haven't hung this up because every time I look at it I start crying okay to me it's a big deal okay I, to me this is a lot okay and I know for some people it's not a lot but for me it's a lot and this is it just it's just <laughs> It just feels great, and I love that I have this because it just feels great. So November was a really good month for that, honestly, because I was invited to VidCon, and that's the YouTube conference that's going to be in California, which I'm going to this year, and I am so excited to meet everyone and to be a featured creator and to be on panels. I don't know what panels I'm on. Make sure you take a look at my Instagram and my Twitter when I actually know so that you know, but I'm hoping to see all of you who can make it out to VidCon in June. That will be amazing. And June is, by the way, the month that I will be graduating from my master's. So, I know I'm, I'm going forward right now in 2018, so let's, let's relax. I have one month left. I have one month left. December. What I do in December. December. Okay, I traveled again. I went to Philly. I built some Ikea furniture. But, December is also when I did Vlogmas. I vlog every single day in December? Chase, you're crazy. You don't have time for this. I know I don't, but I did it anyway because I love it. I love Vlogmas. It was so amazing to be able to bring you everywhere and to dance with you and swim with you and sleep with you. <laughs> December is also when I did my Christmas cards. I decided to do 300 Christmas cards that I was gonna send out to people who need Christmas cards, who are trans and who don't have, you know, family who are supportive, friends who are supportive. And then I was like, you know what, 300 is not that much. Let me do more. I ended up doing 1,000. You know what I think about that now? I'm like, am I crazy? Am I? I did it. I sent 1,000 Christmas cards. That's a lot of Christmas cards. How did I do that? How did I think I could? Do? I mean, I, I worked it and it worked and I did it and I I did it, but. I feel like I couldn't do that again. I did, I don't know, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, I'm done, I'm not done. Actually, I just looked at my list of places that I went to travel and I forgot to say that I was in New Jersey. I talked to a group of kids at a high school that was really cute, it was very intimate, it was really cute. I also went to Baltimore, I did a talk in November, I forgot to talk about that. I did a talk, and that was really fun, I got to meet people, and it was really fun, it was really great. But, the last thing that I wanna talk about is my giveaways, because I know a lot of people are curious, and they wanna know, Chase, how much did you give away? Because I was curious, I'm like, how many binders did you give away this year? I got the numbers for you, hunty. I got the number. In total, in 2017, I gave seven total give. My laundry's done. So I had seven giveaways this year. I gave away 344 binders, and in total of the entire year, with everything combined, I gave away 1,383 total items. That includes packers, STPs, FTM magazine stuff, which equals to. $28,000 USD before tax, before shipping. So I am very proud that I am this vessel, that I am able to contact companies and give out all of these amazing products through giveaways. And the fact that I was able to give 344 binders away, that makes me feel like I am helping people. <laughs> I know, I know I help people even if I give one binder away, but I feel like so many people watch me and so many people um, sign up to the giveaways and they need binders and it just, it hurts me. I want to give a binder to everyone. I wish I was rich. I wish I was rich. I would just give everyone a binder. I just, Oprah, binder, you get a binder, you know? Oprah! <laughs> well, I can't do that because I'm not rich. Um, but I was able to help, you know, 1,000 plus people and 344 people with binders and that makes me feel really great. That was my year, okay? That was my year in recap. There are other things that have happened, but really, 
um, that those are the important parts. My Pinwall grew. I made so many more reviews this year. Companies started to trust me more and send me more products and oh my god. So this year, let's talk about 2018 for like two seconds. I know this video is like 19 years long, but you love me. And if you watch this far, you get a surprise at the end. My titty, I'm kidding, what, the, what am I talking about? So what can you expect in 2018? Will I just got started? I'm kidding, that's some corny stuff. What can you expect for real? Way more reviews, okay? I am currently working on a review right now for Gender Cat, for their Packer, and the Balls. That's really great. I'm so excited to really get into these reviews more in depth than I have in the past. I'm doing way more videos. I'm gonna do way more collabs. I have so many planned. I am traveling like crazy this year. I'm going so many places. Hunties, I'm going to England. I'm doing a talk in England. How cool is that? I might be going to France. I was invited to go to Denmark, so I'm trying to sneak that in there while I'm in Europe. I am going to Ohio. I am going to Montana. What? I'm going to upstate New York. Ah, there, is that it? Oh, I thought there was somewhere else. Maybe, is there Arkansas? No, Arizona? I don't know, there's another one, okay? I'm doing talks and it's amazing and I'm so happy that I get to do this this year and I get to meet so many of you. So yes, please, I know you're gonna ask a million questions. I don't have all the details right now, so I will update you on my Twitter and on my Instagram, so please make sure you're following those social medias. If you want your school organization to have me come speak, or have like a conversation or anything like that, please my business email is in the description below. A lot of people ask for that. So just get your organizations to contact me and we will talk about it and it'll be fun because I love doing it. I love to travel and it's so much fun. So this is something that I have not said to anybody except my brain. 2018 is the year I want to move out of Montreal. I have been wanting to move for four years and we all know where I want to move, Vancouver. I want this year to be the year, okay? And if it's not this year, then it'll be next year, but I am planning, I'm trying, I'm going to work hard to see if this is the year and I'm going to make it happen. I want to move. If I don't like it, I'll move back. Who cares? I just want to try it. I'm gonna turn 27 in two weeks. I want to go and experience the world, okay? I want to live somewhere else. I've lived in Montreal my entire life. I want to move. Just experience it. If I have to come back in a month, I'll come back. 10 months, one year, 10 years, who cares? I just want to try it. You will never know how it is if you don't try. And that's my thing this year. I need to try it. And I think for the last two years, if you're scared of it, do it. That's my thing. I'm scared of swimming in a lake. I'm gonna go in the lake. This is what I do. This is what I'm gonna do this year. I'm gonna do that again. I'm going, if I'm scared, I'm gonna do it. And I'm scared of my petrol. I can't, I was depressed. I moved two stairs up. This is moving across the country. And Vancouver is really expensive. So I'm never gonna know if I don't try. As Wayne Grexy said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And that's what's happening right now. I will never know what it's like to live in Vancouver. I don't wanna, I wish, no, no. I don't wanna live like this. I don't wanna regret anything. I wanna do it. If I don't like it, I go back. I know that I wanted that at that moment, so I'm not gonna regret it. You know, I feel like I'm yelling at you, I'm sorry. I would like my channel to grow a little more too, maybe some more subscribers, that'd be cool. Um, but you know, for what I'm doing right now, I'm okay. But I'm opening up my list here. I have a list and I want you guys to do this too with me, okay? I did this on the podcast with Aaron and a whole bunch of people did it and people are doing it on Twitter and I love it. I want you to do a list of things that you want to accomplish in 2018, but I want you to do the number amount of how old you are. So I'm turning 27 in two weeks, so I have 27 things on this list. So I want to tell you, okay, that my number one thing is to be more gentle with myself. I want to be kind towards myself and I want to learn to accept myself and appreciate myself and appreciate my body and learn to be proud of myself. It's very hard. Yes, I'm gonna be done my master's. I'm trying to be proud of myself, but it's hard because I feel like I've been struggling for four years with it. I'm proud of myself for reaching 100,000 subscribers, getting this play button, being invited to VidCon. I need to learn to be more proud of myself. It's not being cocky, it's acknowledging these things that I've done, that I've worked for, that have worked, you know? So I'll just read you a little bit of what's on my list, like bacon, apple pie. I know that was on my list last year, didn't do it. Like literally my list last year, 26 things I did too. <laughs> Whoops. The other, they were hard, okay? These are more realistic. So I have like explore a new country, explore four new states, get the tattoo. So there's a tattoo I've been wanting to get for years and because I now have 100,000 subscribers, I can now do it. I don't know what the design is, no idea. I have the concept, I know what I want, put in it, but I don't know what I want the tattoo to be, but I will be getting it this year. And I was thinking of doing a contest and getting people, a whole bunch of people to design a tattoo for me and um, I would pick a winner and I would pay them and use their design. But then I decided maybe I could just ask people for the portfolio. So if you have a portfolio of art, um, 
that you have that you want to send to me, um, please send it to my email so I can take a look because I need to find somebody who could design this tattoo for me because I want to get that tattoo. So I'll go to the physio for my knee, get a therapist for OCD and PTSD because those were the things that I was um, diagnosed with, and learn to meditate, work on jealousy, learn to swear less, whoops, <laughs> knit slippers, uh, graduate, take steps to love and appreciate my body, hang out with Aaron more, um, go apple picking, learn the stock market, work on a secret project, do some more Christmas cards. So there's a whole bunch of stuff here that I want to accomplish, okay? And I'm going to work really hard at being kind to myself and listening to myself. I'm going to, I don't know how to explain that, I'm going to try to not work myself to death because I am a hard worker. Ask anyone in my life, like I am nonstop. I work all the time, so. I took a couple of days off for Christmas and that feels great. Okay, anyways, this video is like 40 minutes long. I'm sorry, you probably didn't even watch this, but I don't really care at this point because this is really more for me so I can watch this next year and be like, oh, look what all the things that I didn't end up doing. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, there are probably things that I'm missing and I'm sorry if I'm missing them, but hanging out with friends and reconnecting with old friends and meeting everybody online and doing all these meetups and going to talk at schools and being on a magazine, getting my play button, getting invited to VidCon, getting 100,000 subscribers, doing all these collabs, traveling all over the place, going on a cruise, all of these things that happened this year just happened like that. They happened so quick, just like that. They happened so quick. But I can't describe to you how excited I am for 2018. I think that 2018 is going to be great and I'm going to work hard and I'm going to do a bunch of collabs and I'm going to make more videos and I'm going to, I'm just, I'm going to be me and I'm going to dye my hair a lot more crazy colors like I did this year. I dyed my hair so much and it was really fun. I did some cool colors like this and um, yeah, it was really great. Okay. Thank you for joining me on this journey of 2017 and hopefully you'll join me for 2018 and we will do things together and if you have any suggestions for things you want me to talk about, I'm always open. I am open. Love is an open door. I'm hungry. I love you. I'll see you later. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.